Well, this is just a little quick ride along, uh, a couple electric bikes. My brother-in-law came up to visit from the valley and we took the bikes out. It rained all night long and we decided we'd check things out around the uh, Woods Canyon Lake, out to the Rim Road, and then back to the motorhome at Aspen Campground. Yeah. Today is Thursday, and I think it's September 21st, maybe 22nd. And uh, we're gonna be at this campground we're at until Tuesday. And the lake actually goes a long way back up in that uh, canyon right there. This is just a little picnic area where people can come up and sit around the lake or fish and there's some parking here. And look like we've got somebody coming in already. Oh, I didn't realize there's the uh, picnic tables and stuff up there. That's pretty cool. And we're going out, but there's the little uh, ranger shack. And there is a fee for day use here. Uh, it's especially critical when the upper parking lot, which was you see in a second, is full. But this is where I come when I bring the stand up paddleboard and I'll just park right here and blow it up in the parking lot. Very cool. Kind of the end of the season right now. I'm, I'm riding in uh, jeans and uh, I got a sweater on. Uh, it feels kind of good with the wind blowing. Yep. Pull through trailer section where you can back up and uh, get on the lake. I don't know what we got going here. It looks like some kind of a group. I haven't seen that many people here in a long time at this uh, boat ramp. And this is the upper parking area. Quite a bit smaller parking. And then the uh, store, the general store. You can get fishing licenses, and tackle, and ice, and all the standard things here. Beer, of course. And there's the little store. So that's where we were. And then we make a right hand turn from there. And we go up this hill. And this is where an electric bike comes in handy. And then here is Aspen Campground. Not so busy on a Friday approaching noon after Labor Day. And then right next door is a uh, campground called Spillway. But there is a, uh, a path over here and we're gonna catch that path. It's a hiking path. That way you don't have to compete with all the traffic during the summer, of course. Now there's not so much traffic on the main road. But this goes from the campgrounds and the lake all the way over to the rim road over to the Highway 260. Nice little hiking path. And also uh, uh, you can ride your bikes and stuff on it. The hikers have the right of way, of course. So you gotta be careful when you're going by them. And then we're still on the little bike track path trail and we're coming up on the rim road which is a road that goes all the way along the rim turns to dirt not far beyond here uh, and then heads on out to the to the west so we have crossed uh, the rim road and we're now on the rim paved walking trail which is right along the the steepest part of the drop off but you can see it's it's a, a long way down on that side over there. It's a long way down. <laughs> and this trail goes off quite a ways. It doesn't make it all the way to the Highway 260, but it does uh, go quite a ways. It's getting kind of dark. Hey, we have some sun sh sunshine. Look at that. You can kind of get an idea of what this point looks like. And the, even the road down there is in the sunshine. But now, it's time to get on the bikes and get rolling again. This little trail goes for probably a mile along the rim and then just abruptly stops. Who knows, maybe they ran out of money or something, I don't know. But uh, then you gotta turn around and come back. Nice little chair there to sit and enjoy the sunset. 
Oh yeah, look at that rain over there. Ooh, it's coming down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a long way down. You can hear the cars and the trucks down there climbing up the, the grade. There's that ranch down there. And then uh, the climbing up out of the out of the uh, valley of the bowl up the hill there up on top yeah I got a guy down there using his jake brake going down the hill there carrying something heavy down so we're headed back in the direction on the rim here didn't want to get too close to those rain showers and we're uh, kind of close to the edge actually a couple of pretty good drop-offs just maybe five ten feet off and we pretty much go back the way we came all right it's clear and that's what it looks like down there this is where we're going 1.8 miles to woods canyon lake And once again, we're on the trail that parallels the main road coming off the rim road to Woods Canyon Lake. I'm pretty sure this is a group campground. Maybe, maybe not. $20 a night. Okay, so it says campsites are available when it's not reserved for a group. So I don't see any groups here, so we could have camped here if we'd have wanted to. And there's a big pagoda in the center, which is kind of nice for the group. A little more expensive here, huh? <laughs> I guess you gotta pay to be on top of the lake. Good thing we don't have smell of vision on the camera. There's a restroom right there. Ooh, baby. A little bit right. A little bit right. And that, my friends, is Spillway Campground. Mm, very nice for small, like Class C's like that, but probably no larger, although I've seen larger in here. Just everything is on top of one another. And you are quite close to the lake. And this is quite a hill. Go up in a level two or even a three pedal assist. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the main road entering into Aspen Campground. And that's where we're camped. This is the gate guard shack or shack. They get busy on Fridays. But not so much this time of year during the week. It's like $27 a night. Senior access is $13.50. And an extra vehicle is, I don't know, what did it say? You tell me, $12? $13? Well, the sun broke out just as we're getting back almost to the camper. Beautiful day. There's several loops on top of loops. And we're kind of going the upper one, which will end up uh, at. Uh, the campground, the campsite rather. Ooh, look how dark it is above those trees and beyond. So we have got some sunshine now to head back to the motorhome, which we're almost there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this ride along to a little bit different than normal in our Jeep, but uh, thanks for watching. Home sweet home.